has the handles on your tools seen better days you got a favorite rake or a hoe that you use that just tears your hands up because it's just just too rough or i think that this product that i'm about to show you is absolutely amazing because what this does is it takes the old worn out handles that's on your tools and makes them new again or if you got some uh, just like hand tools like a ratchet or hammers or something like that and they don't have a, a soft handle on them well you can add one so anyways just stick around i'm gonna show you how to do it now the name of this company is called regrip you can see their website it's regrip.com and uh, you know they've got different size products for different size handles and right here I've got the small one and it, you can see that it's uh, it measures from a 0.68 to a 1.1 inch handle and then there it is in millimeters 17 millimeter to 28 millimeter then you've got the the medium one and it goes from 79 to one and a half inches and it's uh, 20 millimeter to 38 millimeter and then of course you got the larger one and then it says right here a 0.98 to 2 inch it's not listed millimeter on that one but uh anyways it has a list of some of the tools right in here that it can be used on right there's a ratchet and then right there's a yard rake and then you've got some hammers and a chisel and then you've even got a wheelchair right there where the handle is sometimes that wears out you know another thing that this would be great on is exercise equipment uh, that one's not listed on there, but you know, again, you got a hammer, a shovel, and rake, hoe, all your yard tools, and then you got some uh, pruning shears right in there, and then right here, there's a, a power tool, a handle for a power tool. So, you know, if, let's say you've got a, a power tool that's got a little crack or something in it, uh, this you could put that handle over it, and I'd say it'd be it'd be perfectly fine. Uh, this is pretty strong stuff. It's really thick. So anyways, right here, you've got a, a pneumatic uh, air impact air tool, and then you've got a wheelbarrow, and then you've got some rope right in there. So just really wherever you want to put this stuff, there's it's endless uses. You know, you just think about uh, where you might need uh, a soft rubbery handle on something, and you can make it happen. Now it shows right in here how this uh, particular product works. You just take and slide this little rubber piece over the, the handle, and then you pull this little plastic piece, this little red piece right in here, <clears throat> you pull it this way and it starts unraveling from this side. And then as you can see, it shrunk up right here against the handle and it's still big right here until you continue to pull that out and it unravels and continues to shrink down over the handle. So it's a genius product. Uh, it really is. I wish I would have come up with this. I mean, I mean, it's just so simple, but, uh, you know, it works great. And, you know, here's all the, the benefits. It's uh, solvent resistant, water resistant, weather resistant, shock resistant, anti-slip, added comfort, heat resistant, vibration resistant. And it says it's electrical insulation up to 1,000 volts only. Uh, it says that it's uh, heat resistant up to 280 degrees. So, you know, let's say you got a generator or something, you know, your handle's gone on on it you know you could easily put a, a new handle on i mean there's just thousands and thousands and thousands of uses so you know get creative with this stuff so anyways uh, i've got you know a couple tools right here and i want to go ahead and show you how to install them but i'm going to go ahead and open one of these up so you get an idea of what it looks like from the inside all right guys well i went ahead and, and uh got the uh medium grip out and uh, i'm gonna i've got one uh, already started on the hoe over there and I'm gonna just show you how to how to use it. Now, when you pull it out of the package, this little string piece is stuck up on the inside. So, you know, what you wanna do is just reach up in there and just pull it out like I had it, and, you know, just leave it like that for just a second. And then you, you wanna look up in here and look through the center, and you can see there's a little arrow right there, and it's telling you to pull this way. So what you wanna do is just take and push that that back up in there. I pulled it out so you guys could see. That's the reason I had you pull it out. But you just want to reach your, your finger in there. And, and then what you want to do now is take this right here and slide this over the top of your rake or whatever tool you're trying to use. And then once you get it slid on top of there, you want to be able to pull this out and it's going to start shrinking on this end. So don't don't pull from this end because 
If you try to pull down from the opposite end of the, the arrow, you're going to get stuck and it's not going to let you pull it out and it's going to shrink up and you're not going to be able to use the tool. I mean, it's going to be, this grip's going to be rendered useless for the most part. So make sure you, you follow that little arrow right in there and make sure you pull uh, the way that it shows you. All right, guys. Now, I've already got one started uh, here on the hoe. But the way that I got that started was just like I showed you. You've got that arrow pointing, telling you which way to pull this string. So what you want to do when you start one outlet, I'm going to attempt it on the, the rake here. You just slide it down like this. And then once you get it placed where you want this handle to be, then you start pulling a piece of plastic and it starts unraveling it right in here. So it'll start clamping down and grip that handle. And once it starts gripping that handle, then you know you're not going to be able to remove it because it's going to be on there for a long time uh, probably forever because this is some pretty stout rubber that they've got uh, for a handle so anyways i've already got one started as you can see right here and i've already started unraveling it by pulling it up this way and as you can see it's already started uh, forming itself to that the handle of this hoe so i'm going to go ahead and show you what you do is just pull it out and with every every little pass that it it unravels it gets tighter and tighter and and then there you go it's that simple and as you can see you know now i've got a, a hoe with a handle on it so if i'm working out in the the yard I'm not gonna rub a blister on my hand you know it's, and I'm gonna have some nice cushion on here this stuff is not thin by any by any means I would say if I had to guess uh, that it's gonna put probably about a an eighth of an inch of rubbery cushion for a handle uh, on whatever tool or whatever you put it on so you know that is pretty neat uh, like I said this would be you know great for let's say some workout equipment let's say you had an elliptical machine and one of the handles uh, or the grips come off of it uh, you could easily put a new handle on there and uh, now you've got a, a nice grip and uh, you know I'll put a link to the description for the product down below so you make sure you go to their website and check them out so anyways I uh, appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe to the channel make sure you hit the notification bell down below so that way you get to see my future videos thanks for watching guys I appreciate it have a good one